Another lockdown at a Coachella Valley Unified School District campus this morning after a student reported another student had a knife. News Channel 3's Jake Ingracia was at Coachella Valley High School earlier today, joining us live now in studio with more on the ongoing frustrations from parents about how the district communicates about these incidents. And Jake, I know the facts just keep on changing. Karen, we have some updated information tonight from the school district. We first reported earlier today that the Sheriff's Department said a student was found with a knife and detained, but Sheriff's Department officials now correcting that information, saying that a knife was never found. The school district now says the school was locked down as a precaution after a student reported seeing a knife, but no weapon was ever recovered in the investigation. And this is the second lockdown in a week within Coachella Valley Unified School Districts as safety concerns from students and parents continue to escalate. It appears the district yet again did not follow its own communication protocols. Why did you guys go into a lockdown in the first place? Is it true there was a kid with a knife on mm -hmm. Can you answer that? I, I cannot say anything more. Like Chaos outside Coachella Valley High School Tuesday as the campus went into lockdown around 9 a.m. Dozens of parents gathered at the school's gates, frustrated by a lack of communication about what was happening with their kids. They're taking their time on trying to get us the answers. I mean, look at all these parents that are out here. I mean, give, be quick about it. Adding to the confusion, the district says a student called the sheriff's department, falsely claiming there was an active shooter on campus, though that was never the case. Sheriff's Department officials say any reports of a gun were untrue. There's too much going on here at the Coachella Valley High School. I'm really disappointed at the district as well. It's like the fourth or fifth incident. Last Tuesday, three schools on the same campus in Thermal were locked down after a student turned in a gun magazine loaded with bullets. And earlier last week, students in the district organized protests over safety concerns with these repeated incidents in the district with a number of weapons being brought onto campuses since last fall. District officials say newly implemented protocols require parents to be updated every 30 minutes when something's happening at school, but that isn't what played out today. Your last update was 9.15. Correct. And it's 10.50 now. That was 90 minutes ago, over 90 minutes. Right. Yes, sir. Just to put people, you know, the families at ease, a little bit more information would be better than just saying, I can't really tell you anything right now. Now, after about two hours, that lockdown was lifted and parents were able to pick up their kids. Police say there was no one injured and CVUSD says there were no charges filed or arrests made against two students who were detained today at Coachella Valley High School. Well, Jake, for months now, you have been looking into our local district's communications policies for getting information out to the community and parents, of course, when dangerous incidents happen on Valley campuses, right? Yeah, and Karen, it's interesting what we uncovered. Not only that, this is not the first time recently that CVUSD didn't follow its own protocols, but also what we're learning about the other Valley School Districts too. Which district doesn't have a written communication policy for what's supposed to happen when weapons are found on campus, and how officials look into rumors and potential threats. I'm pressing officials from all three districts. My questions on all of this and how they're responding in my special report, Safety Matters this Thursday at 6, right here on News Channel 3. Jake, thank you a lot to look into here. We look forward to that report.